in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the merciful. I want to elucidate a very crucial case report to you about the compounding of a series of diseases when the immune system of a herd is compromised. When the immune system of a herd weakens, I have been observing this over the past 21 to 22 years. During my service, the most significant issue I encountered is the severely debilitated immune system of our herds. This is a major challenge our ranchers are grappling with. Come summertime, a range of blood parasite diseases start to affect the cattle. In the winter time, pneumonia and other ailments set in, followed by a series of viral and bacterial diseases. These all happen when the herd's immunity dips. I will clarify this point later. This is a herd that has, regrettably, lost seven or eight calves due to various reasons I'm going to disclose. One reason being this herd had a weakened immune system and nutritional issues. The sweltering summer instigated the commencement of theiliriosis or yellow water in this herd. On the other hand, MCF also took a toll on this herd foot and mouth disease, also known as Burke's disease, also impacted the herd. These are the three diseases, two viral and one bacterial. English writing this herd has given eight casualties to date and the rest are not in good shape. A load is completely snowflake involved. One load, most of them are involved in teleriosis and two or three are involved in the Sith and Kizo look. So unfortunately, see. The eyes are completely protruding. Look at the mucosa. Tilariosis is very severe, completely conjunctivitis and yellow. Well, from one side of the nose to the respiratory type of MCF and mouth to mucosa and mucosa inside the mouth now. It's the symptom of FMD, meaning the three Campbell diseases that have been involved this year. The most important point I first expressed was the weakness of the immune system. If the immune system was strong, this herd, these two diseases might not ride this goose and the treatments we later wanted to put for these calves would be easier. We would get to the results sooner. We would respond to treatments sooner. Out of this issue, so we have drug problems, the quality of medicines, some medicines do not have good quality, so the farmer comes now with a veterinarian's advice or now he self-medicates because there are a number of diseases now. Typicon can easily identify the rancher himself, but here is really a consultation with Dom. The doctor and the diagnosis of what diseases he has freed this pack. Now a 405 million calf is right, so 40-50 million. The cost of seven gallons of 350 million tomans is very easy to understand. The sooner we stop these problems with Adam, the more we listen to him. So that we can get into this and have a lot of intense conflicts, we'll say it later. What do we do now? So the first point is that the first minute of this video is served. You said it was about the immune system. We have a series of enhancement supplements. I don't want to advertise a particular company or tell me from which company to get the better nutrition experts or nutrition consultants. We're at your service, but we have a series of premixes that have vitamins and mineral and mineral that boosts the immune system. Here's the cost of prevention, far less than we would like. I hope this video is useful. Please send this video to your other friends. We have to pay less for this loss and we have to pay a lot more for it. Cheaper than a thank you cure.